Yeah, you know, it just takes 10 minutes for a car to rise in temperature 20 degrees. And we're live here in Cape Coral at Fire Station Number 8, where today they'll be talking about what's going on um, with government agencies coming across Southwest Florida. A text message. Chris, tell us more. Yeah, people are waking up to text messages like these saying that their account information has been compromised. Now, the Fort Myers Police Department wants to let you know that this is a scam and it's not true. They're yeah, right now we're live right in front of fire station number eight here in Cape Coral talking about how you can prevent your child from being locked in a hot car. Now, if you take a look at this video, there's a people are waking up to vital text messages like this one from Wells Fargo. But authorities say this text message is a fraud and they want you to be on the lookout. Right now, if you call that number listed in this text message, it's saying they want your private information such as your social security number or your account information. And authorities want you to know, do not give that information information out and even on the phone itself on the number it has the letter O instead of the number zero so be on the lookout for that and do not respond to this text message reporting live in Cape Coral Chris Grisby Wink News in the very latest Chris how's it going outside yeah, Kristen, take a look at this puddle that I'm standing here in, in, in right now. As you can see, it's probably about two inches into my boots right now. And that's what the roadways are looking right, like right now along Cape Coral Bridge heading over into Fort Myers. Now, if we walk this way right over here, you can see that traffic is starting to move a little bit slow. It's been a steady rainfall here all morning long. As we were making our way down here, we noticed the visibility at about probably no more than 50 meters ahead of you. Cars are breaking as they're going along this bridge right up. There are a lot of pockets of heavy rain right now. Thankfully, we are lucky to be in one of those lighter pockets. Right now along Cape Coral Boulevard going over the Cape Coral Bridge, you can see break. the traffic is moving a little bit faster now. But less than five minutes ago, the rain was coming down heavy and brakes light lights were right here where I'm standing right now. And there was a lot of cars slowing down and moving slowly. So just be prepared for a slow commute to work as you head out out the door this morning but right now reporting live in Cape Coral Chris Chris the conditions are moving pretty slow right here in Cape Coral off the Cape Coral Parkway if you take a look right down at my feet you can see that the water has already risen to above my ankles just about 45 minutes ago we were standing standing in the same exact spot and it was just below my tail my toes but if we take a look at this traffic moving right over here you can see the palm trees in the background and how fast this wind is actually moving drivers are taking it slow as they cross over over the Cape Coral Bridge, just taking it easy. As you get towards the top, we can see a lot of brake lights happening, and as cars are coming down, you can see them braking a lot as they are splashing into different puddles and whatnot. Now, if we come back right back over here to me, you can see how traffic is slowly moving. If you're just now headed outdoors, you might want to take it slow as you make your way to your morning commute. Right now, reporting live in Cape Coral, Chris Grisby, Wink News. Yeah, right now we're on Cape Cor in Cape Coral, right along Cape Coral Parkway, just before you get to the Cape Coral Bridge. And I'm standing in a puddle of water that's about ankles deep. And this rain has just been, just been pouring down all morning long. And if you just take a look, you can look at towards these palm trees right back over here and see just how fast this wind is moving. As far as traffic goes, traffic is moving steady now, now that the work rush flow has uh, ended a little bit. But still, as traffic makes its way across the Cape Coral Bridge, heading into Myers, you can see brake lights are still being pressed as they're making their way over there. Right now, we just drove around just to get a look at the visibility, and it's about 50 meters, so it's really raining pretty hard out there, and you just have to take it slow this morning as you make your commute to work, into school, and other places that you yeah, now Royal Palm, this shopping center right across the street from me, they're back open and all the businesses are back with lights. But as I said earlier, many of these businesses are still in the dark. And FPL says it can be until midnight tonight until they are restored with power. Reporting live from Fort Myers, Chris Grisby, Wink News Now.